If you're a big music fan like me, you probably also like talking to other people about music. About music you really like, music you really hate, and especially music you find under or overrated. I think sharing the musical experience by way of talking to other people is actually one of the greatest things about music, especially in the internet age, where sharing and discussing music is easier than ever before. But there are some things that kind of annoy me when discussing music. And if I were to make a list of them, the number one spot would probably go to overly complicated genre naming. What I mean by that is people using really vague, obscure or just weird genre names to describe the music they're talking about. And listen, I'm not some bro who's like, oh, we don't need genre labels, it's all art, man. Hey, I understand we need some type of classification system when it comes to music, because there's just so much music out there. And genre labels can be really helpful to find the music you're looking for or to describe music to other people. But I think some of us are taking it way too far. Especially when we're talking about pop music, most genres are pretty similar on a technical level. Most songs have a verse, chorus, verse structure, a 4-4 time signature, lyrics in English and a length of 3-5 to five minutes. What separates hip-hop, rock, EDM and other subgenres are mostly aesthetic differences. The instruments they use, the song topics, the visuals, etc. Which is why I don't think we need a million genre labels to describe all this music. I'm fine with names like house, gangster rap or even post-punk, but I don't think we need to go much further than that. Names like dark wave and post-grunge were made up by music writers and A&R people who just wanted to make a quick buck. They don't mean anything and it's stupid to keep using them. There are roughly three types of people when it comes to overly complicated genre names. First, people who get too specific. This is the most common and in my opinion the least annoying type. They use existing genre names, but the names are just way too obscure, niche and again, specific. Examples are anarcho-punk and cloud rap. Because I dare you to name me five big cloud rappers who are not Young Lean or Asap Rocky. Second, people who make weird combinations. Instead of saying the music is a crossover between two or three genres, they come up with these weird combination names like psychedelic funk or country rap and act like it's a thing. And third, probably the rarest but definitely the most annoying type. People who completely make up their own genre names. But why? Why would anyone do such a thing? The answer is simple. To sound cooler than everybody else. And that sums it up right there. We're not using these overly complicated genre names to accurately describe the music to someone who hasn't heard it yet. We're using them to sound cool and in the know. Take the new Kitsy Ghost album. You can call it an album a psychedelic grunge rap epic, but that doesn't impress anyone but you. Just call it experimental hip hop and press play. If the music is really that interesting, it will speak for itself. Like to be